For the last three years, President Trump has pledged to put up a wall at the U.S.-Mexico border. He claims a physical wall is the best method to stop illegal immigrants from entering the country. But according to a new CNET report, some Texas residents are weighing smarter, more high-tech solutions. To explain these findings, CNET reporter and author of the report, Dara Kerr, joins us now from San Francisco. So, Dara, you traveled along the Texas border. You visited with local folks down there. What was really the general response to the president's plans for this border wall? Well, you know, I talked to people up and down the border. <clears throat> Texas is, the border is 1,200 miles. And a lot of people said they'd prefer um, surveillance, technology, um, any kind of other virtual uh, technology rather than a, a permanent wall. So, Dara, you write that the Department of Homeland Security has actually earmarked more than a billion dollars. That's between 2018 and 2019 for mm -hmm. technology, as, as you were talking about. What type of border technology is the government working on right now? Yeah, so the government has been putting technology along our southern border for decades. Um, you see everything from drones to cameras and sensors put up along the border. There are these giant blimps that um, are all along the Texas border that have radar that can see for 150 miles to see if people are crossing. There's already a lot of tech down there at the border. So Texas does have a natural border with Mexico, the Rio Grande River. How does that factor into the use of technology versus actually having a wall? Is there any sort of differentiation with that? Yeah, so Texas is really unique than our other border states in that it has a natural barrier, the river. Um, it also has lots of mountains and it has deserts. So up until now, more or less, those natural barriers have served as kind of a deterrent for people crossing. Um, you mostly see people crossing and through urban areas. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why a lot of people in Texas don't necessarily think there needs to be a wall. Mm. So when you talk about technology, is there a downside? Well, there are privacy watchdog groups and groups like the ACLU who warn that giving the government so much access to people's everyday movements um, w without warrants could intrude on our lives. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's, there's cameras and sensors that people track always, everything that's happening. Yeah. yeah, people are always worried about what it means for your personal um, freedom and that sort of thing. But I, I'm curious, when you were down there, did you see a it's successful uh, use of border to technology? Did you find that it was efficient? Well, uh, you know, a lot of people, the, the Border Patrol agents and um, local law enforcement say that they need more, actually. Um, what they have is good and it's working, but it's not enough. Uh, what happens is there's cameras and sensors set up along the border, but then by the time the agents or police find out about it and try and respond, a lot of times the drug traffickers are illegal immigrants have already passed through. Derek Kerr, I want to thank you very much, Dara, for joining us. Thank you.